because the Modifieds are ready to rumble. Cajun Swing, night number one, will take the green to Boot Hill Speedway down the back straightaway, and Jack Laner will grab the early lead. As they work down the front straightaway. Here comes Laner. He's going to switch lanes. He'll go to the inside of Boswell off the corner down the back straightaway. He'll get by. Whoa! Boswell and Laner get together, and Laner's going to end up with a flat tire. Unbelievable. Warner now will choose the top side as he's going to try and work off of it. He will do so. We're back to racing. Tyler Series outside of Matt Shepard as they work into the corner and trade a little paint into the turn. And we have Go Down getting by McGrew. Here comes Rudolph, and Rocky will protect the lead and hold off Friesen. Yeah, Jeff, I was just going to say it. Don't look now, but Ryan Go Down from ninth now into the top five. Warner leaving that bottom groove open for the 44 of Stuart Friesen. Warner, though, getting good momentum off of the top side, keeping the 44 at bay. Cross flags halfway this time by. Rocky Warner gets the halfway bonus, but we've still got 20 more laps to go. Friesen all over his back bumper. Yeah, Rocky kept it a little bit lower that time to get by Glenn Stone off the turn, and now Shepard has caught up to Friesen. Friesen trying to get by Rocky Warner, but now he's got to contend with Matt Shepard. A three-car duel as they work down the back. More lap traffic on the horizon, and Friesen sticks his nose under Rocky. Oh, oh, oh. we got trouble in turn four. So we are under red flag condition now as the 21 of Jimmy McComas. A pretty wild flip there. And then Eric Williams in the 21. Here they come. All sorts of action happening down here. The 9S Matt Shepard getting turned and everybody bouncing off of him. Rocky Warner back on the gas, back to green. He'll close the door on Friesen going into turn number one and ride the middle lane with a lead down to back. Go down, getting by Siri. They'll go three wide. Three wide for fourth into the corner. Tight racing here for the fourth spot. Rudolph down on the bottom. Decker trying to split the middle. Rudolph will drive underneath both of them. Heading out of the turn. Go down not far behind the top two. Friesen now earlier in the race was battling with Rocky Warner for the lead with Matt Shepard all over his back bumper. He's trying to get by Rocky Warner for the lead. And now he's got Ryan Go down knocking on the back door. Yeah, Warner and Friesen continuing to duke it out. Godown's hanging in there, and here comes Eric Rudolph. Rudolph now is shaking off the two behind him, starting to reel in the top three. Charging into the turn. Rudolph, we've got Friesen on the inside of Warner down the back straightaway. Then we've got Godown. Here comes Rudolph now in fourth spot. Rocky trying to hold the lead. Oh, Friesen gets sideways. He's in the infield. Friesen losing the handle. He'll drop back to fifth spot. And Rocky Warner now maintaining the lead down the back over Go Down and Rudolph. Charging into the turn. Go Down now putting the pressure on Rocky Warner as they work out of the turn. Heading down the back straightaway. Rudolph and now Friesen in fourth spot. Here comes Go Down applying the pressure. Inside of 10 laps to go. One driver's never won a short track Super Series race. The other, it's been since 2017 for Go Down. Go Down, down the back stretch, trying to dive inside of Warner. He'll do so. He'll slide up the racetrack. The lap car's there, but you've got a new leader. It's Ryan Go Down. Go Down pulled a bonsai move on Rocky Warner, who slid by him and the lap car almost ended up drifting up into the guardrail, but maintained the lead and now will pull away from Rocky Warner. The Bridgeport Motorsports Park champion in the three and four for the final time. Final time, Cajun swing opener, Boot Hill Speedway, the win to Ryan, go down. Runner-up spot will be Rudolph, followed by Friesen.